Chapter 8. The Signpost. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Good grief, said Tim Bradley, gazing upon the thing with a mixture of awe and bafflement. This is now the weirdest signpost I've ever seen. As I said, Tim Bradley, things are not the same here in Castlevania as they are in your dimension. Boy, I'll say! The sign was a normal around the edges. Its stand was of wood, solid oak from the looks of it, and the frame was wood as well. However, it was the image inside the frame that was weird. Clouds, said Tim. It looks just like a muddle of clouds. I feel like I'm looking into the twilight zone. He looked over his shoulder. Is, is Rod Sterling hiding anywhere around here, by the way? Twilight Zone, said Simon. Uh, gosh, cultural reference! But what good is it to go and do get our directions to Dragon? It's just bone. In just a moment, my friend. Observe. From around his neck, Simon took the leather thong to which was tied the magical ring that had brought him to Earth and to Tim. He picked up the ring between his fingers and it sparkled with his touch. Tim found himself holding his breath with excitement. There was something righteous and glorious about that ring now. Simon held it forth to the sign. The golden glitter <clears throat> touched the wood. Tim Bradley gasped with wonder. The clouds exploded with light. Tim had, held, Tim had to hold up his hand to shield his eyes. There yeah. was violet light. Red light. Lights of rainbow drizzle. Just a second. We're at a... Rainbow a, dazzle. We're at a, a special part of this. Oh. I'm going to be breaking this with this. There you are. Bam. Now, a bag. You now possess Dracula's rib. We just... Bum, ba da 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 Bum, 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 ba da Now I have to leave? Yeah. <laughs> There are apparently no boss fights in the dungeons in this game. Really? Or there's, like, not really a mini. <clears throat> can, can I get some health? Tim had to hold up his hand to shield his eyes. There was violet light, red light, and rainbow dazzle. And then the light faded into a soft and simple radiance surrounding a face. It was a woman's face, and it was the most beautiful woman that Tim Bradley had ever seen. Even my- FUCK! She had eyes the color of fuck to the sky <laughs> and its most blue and hair the color of god damn it, honey. Her skin was soft and pure and fuck all of your mothers and clean. I, I that's not part of the. She book. was smiling, but that... it was a smile of sadness, of oh. melancholy. Oh, Linda, said Simon Belmont, my wonderful and beautiful Linda and Whistle. You were correct. At night, the signs can become portals into the dimension where you are imprisoned. Linda Eltwistle smiled understandingly at her beloved. Oh, I should think that's fairly obvious, darling. But uh, I see that you have successfully brought the hero from Earth here. And my goodness, he is a handsome young man. Oh my! <laughs> oh my. Tim blushed. <laughs> oh, I was all he could muster. He has already saved me from Dracula twice, said Simon. But time grows short, Linda. We must seek out the five vital parts of Dracula you have described. The closest, you say, is Dracula's rib. High five, because we did that already. Yeah! Bam! <clears throat> but where is this rib? In our possession, because we got it already. Yeah! Bam! Linda and Whistle's image shook and quivered as though the sign were a magical television screen and something were interfering with the transmission. There are limits to the power of the ring you hold, my darling, she said. It, too, is affected by the curse of Dracula upon the land of Castlevania. When I attempt to tell you the direct truth of the locations of these parts of Dracula, the message is garbled. Therefore, I must tell you indirectly, Wait. through puzzles and riddles. What? Puzzles and riddles, said Simon, cringing. I am not too good with puzzles and riddles, Linda. You know that. 
Yes, my dear. I, thought that I remember how baffled you were when we played such games as children. However, this is one of the reasons I had you seek the help of Timothy Bradley here. Tim, you are good with such brain teasers, are you not? Well, that's, that's what my teachers say, and I do like to do crosswords and stuff sometimes, but I mean, I'm not really the best. I just I don't know why you chose me. She smiled. Perhaps for your modesty. Now, there are people... A kind of static frizzed through the screen, oh. shot with veins of red blood. J different. J they will also be told in puzzles and riddles. Stop, said Simon. We didn't get that last part. There was an interruption. Linda and Twizzle cleared her throat. I said, there are people of Castlevania and the surrounding environs who have learned of the whereabouts of these pieces of Dracula. And they know the howabouts to get them. Precisely. Oh, wait. And they know the howabouts to get them. Precisely. Fuck these spiders. You are a sharp fellow, young Tim. She sent him a smile. Tim's pulse quickened. Wow. Forget Carol Jance back home. A guy could really uh, fall hard for a lady like Linda Entwistle. He is macking on... Tim could feel a stupendous crush squeezing in on him hard already. Ah, yes, of, of course it's uh, all good Castlevanians will want to rid the land of Dracula. All good people everywhere would want to get rid of a vampire, Simon. Linda admonished. However, to protect themselves, these people must too deliver their messages and riddles and puzzles. Understood. Uh, understood, Simon said impatiently. Much as I adore you, Linda, we really need to find out the location of the rim. What you need can be found, said Linda Entwistle, where love is joined and Sunday sound. And then, with a flash of colored smoke, the image of Linda's face swept away, replaced by the previous clouds. Where love is joined and Sunday sound, said Simon Scratching. Well now, that doesn't make much sense, Linda. Love isn't a thing, so how can it be joined? And uh, days don't make any sounds as far as I know. All Tim could think was that he was glad this guy had a lot of goodness, bravery, and muscle because he sure didn't have much in the way of brains. Oh, bizarre. She wants us to go to a church, Simon. Love is joined by marriage, usually in a church. And there are any churches close by. Fuck. Well, actually, there's only one church in Castlevania, so I guess that must be the one she wants to go to. So they're all one religion? Let's just go to that church before any of those weird ghouls show up. I enjoyed the energy boost, but I might not be as lucky next time with this sword. Perhaps we can get you another weapon. At least you'll have a choice if need be. They started off, Tim looking wistfully back behind them at the signpost where Linda Entwistle's face had been. Oh, Linda Entwistle, how I wish to put my sword in your Linda Entwistle. Thus concludes chapter eight. All right.